Hey everybody, this is Leanna, and I'm here to show you a quick technique, the Magic Mats cutting technique. What this technique allows you to do is to get four full mats out of one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Um, often, if you're trying to cut mats and say you're trying to do something that's six and a half by five or something like that. If you cut six and a half down, you'll only get two mats out and you won't have enough paper left on the other side uh, to get those other two mats out of. But using magic mat, te magic mat techniques, you're going to get four mats out of the paper. And I'm gonna show you this using this beautiful black shimmer paper from Creative Memories and my Creative Memories 12 by 12 trimmer. So what I actually wanna do here is create four five and a half inch by four and a half inch um, mats out of this one piece of paper. So in order to do that, you have to do a little bit of math. So the first thing you have to do is add up the length and the width of your mat. So five and a half inches plus four and a quarter inches comes out to nine and three quarters inch. And so what we wanna do is start out with a square piece of paper that's nine and three quarters by nine and three quarters. So I'm going to take my 12 inch piece of cardstock and I'm going to line it up at nine and three quarters inch. And with the Creative Memories trimmer, you just wanna press down on the blade cartridge to engage the blade. We will cut that. And then we're gonna turn our paper 90 degrees and just do the same thing. We'll line it up at nine and three quarters and cut. So now I have my square piece of paper that's nine and three quarters inch. So what you wanna do is line your paper up with one of the, either the length or the width. I usually like to do the shorter side just to keep it on, um, the more stable part of my trimmer. So that's four and a quarter. So I'm just going to line up my paper at four and a quarter. Now, before I do this, I wanted to just show you that on the Creative Memories trimmer, on this cartridge, you'll see on the side, there's a white line. And that white line tells you exactly where your blade will engage. So for example, if I wanted to start cutting at two inches, I could line up that white line with the two inch mark. Now, it may be hard when your paper's down to see that, but you can do a double check. You're gonna have to eyeball uh, with the ruler mark here, or you'll notice that the trimmer on the steel cutting arm has another ruler. And from this white line to the end of the blue carriage is exactly one inch. So as an example, if I line up my white, line on two inches, this end right here of the blue cartridge will be on three inches. So that's just another way for you to double check that you're cutting in the right place. So again, if I don't push down, I'm not cutting. I can slide this arm around. You have to push down to engage it. So again, we're gonna take our nine and three quarters inch by nine and three quarters inch piece of paper. I'm going to line it up at four and a quarter inch. Okay, I'm gonna shut the arm, and then I'm going to line up that cutting blade on the other dimension, the five and a half. So right here, I've got five and a half, and I'm just eyeballing a little bit to make sure that white line is lined up with that ruler. And I can double check to make sure that the front of the blue cartridge is at six and a half. Again, you have that one inch difference. Once you're there, you press down to engage the blade, and then I'm gonna push up and cut from five and a half inch to the top of my paper, okay? I'm gonna open this up and you will see that I've cut just partially, right? So I'm going to turn my paper counterclockwise 90 degrees, so that cut line is now gonna be horizontal. I'm gonna put the edge right back in the same place at four and a quarters inch, and this time it'll be a little bit easier because you'll notice you now have the cut mark on the paper at five and a half inch. So you just line that white line up on the blade cartridge, press down, and once again, we're gonna press up. So we've just cut from five and a half inch to the top of the paper, and you'll see that gives us our first magic mat. 
okay? Then I'm going to take my paper, I'm going to turn it counterclockwise 90 degrees again. I'm going to put this in at four and a quarter inch. And this time, because there's no paper down here to cut through, I can just cut from top to bottom. So press down to engage. And there's my second mat. Now I'm gonna once again, turn my paper counterclockwise 90 degrees. I'm going to line it up at four and a quarter inch and cut. You can cut up or down. And that gives me my last two mats. So you'll see that I have four perfectly sized mats, all exactly the same size from one sheet of paper. I've got a little square left over. I often keep these uh, with my scraps because they can make nice design elements. And I also have a nice 12 inch border and another shorter border so I can use these later for different borders. So that, my friends, is our Magic Mats cutting technique. It will save you a lot of paper. Uh, if you don't have one of these magnificent 12 inch trimmers from Creative Memories, let me know as soon as possible. You can't believe what a difference this makes and how easy it makes your crafting. Thanks and have a wonderful day.